Hey, what's up, everybody? It is me, I'm the Gamer 2.0 here, and we are here with my review of the origin story and the gameplay trailer for the new Overwatch character known as Ana Amari. So, as with any review or reaction, please um, go check the description below to see the original videos that I'm about to review. And, and yeah, so, so yeah, this, um, I have watched this before, but, um, of course, I'm, this is just to give my few two cents on each of these videos, and see what I'll probably think of this new character when she comes out to the game. So, um, except, I mean, Expect a few pauses at times, for there may be parts where I may go over a few things that have happened so far throughout the video, and yeah. And that being said, let's get to it. Pressing A. Alright. Because I have an Xbox One, so... Blizzard presents... Dang, you got good balance there. Hey, Faria. My dearest Faria. Called it. Every mother hopes for a better life for her daughter. That's very true. I was willing to fight and die for it. I taught you that there is nothing uh, more important than protecting the know. ones you love. Uh, you, at, um, you tell me in the comments. You grew up surrounded by heroes. Mm -hmm. They filled your head with stories of adventure and dreams of glory. One day. All right, hang on. Who the heck is that guy at the um uh, at the bottom left? I mean, I know the guy at the um top left is uh who would become Reaper, and the guy in the middle is Soldier Seventy Six. The guy next to him, who's really buff, and behind him uh, is Reinhardt. The short guy is, of course, Torbjorn. The the lady behind him is Mercy. The and uh, I think that's Demetra over there, and uh, that's McCree. Okay, I know who those people are, and of course, there's Anna and Bariha, which who would become. I'm pretty sure we know who. But who is that guy? I mean, it couldn't be Genji because he became a cyborg after, like, like, or before he became a member of Overwatch. Like, Mercy repaired, uh, or, like, brought Genji back to life after he was killed by Hanzo, and then, then some... Mechanical work was done on him, or something like that, and uh, and then Zenyatta was his mentor. Um, but of course we're reviewing Anna, but still, this this can't be Genji. Um, I mean, we already got Soldier Seventy Six, Reaper, uh, Reinhardt, Torbjorn, and McCree, and like go through all of the um, um, male characters. Um. I don't think Hanzo is any member of Overwatch. I mean, that can't be Hanzo either. I mean, it doesn't look anything like Hanzo in any way. So, uh, if you have any theories on who that guy is, please tell me. That'd be pretty cool. Let's just continue. You wanted to join them, mm -hmm. but it was not the life I wanted for you. You know you're teaching her karate. I never told you of the weight I carry from all those I killed to keep everyone safe. Seems but I rabies. always did what was asked of me. Until one day, I could not take the life I needed to. I hesitated. Man, and make everything screw off changed. Once. You're annoying in gameplay. Now you're annoying here. The people who I was supposed to protect died. And I was left behind, gravely wounded. Yep. The world believed that I was dead. 
I thought perhaps that was for the best. Alright, what do you get, um, when you combine Junkrat and, um, Anna with her eye patch, which she gets one later, and, um, with Lucio. That's right, you get Demo Man from TF2. Just saying. <laughs> Alright, let's continue. I've lost so much in my life. And then I've said goodbye to so many friends. Which I've buried the ones Very closest sad. to me. But for all that I have lost, I know that there are still people who need to be protected. Mm -hmm. So I cannot There's stop no fighting. Up. Not yet. Not while there are people still waiting for me. One day, I hope you'll understand. Your mother, Anna. Anna. Securing the objective. Anyone want to join me? I require healing. I have you covered. Sniping and healing. That is. We gotta push him back. That, I would be freaking annoyed by. Eliminate target. Bombs away. Dang. Anna, reporting for duty. I'm on the attack. Follow me. In. Barrier is failing. This Hitting is also you with a nano. Get in there and do some damage. Is, that looks more. That's I more have damage. You in my sights. Payback will make her. Oh, that Lights move is out. just freaking annoying. Unless you have a wall. Yeah, like that. Annoying Wolverine. So yeah, that she does look pretty OP and um the only downside I see to her thus far is the fact that how angering it would be to just be um eliminated by her. And you know, you're you know, there's no one around to heal the opponent you're fighting on the battlefield. You are just about to um, kill them or something, but then Psyche, she just snipes her teammate, and then, and then she's fully, he or she is fully healed, and then she just, he or she beats the crap out of you, because, oh my gosh, that, that's really overpowered, along with, um, that, um, Venom thing, that tool, kind of based off of, um, Widowmakers. Looks like it does more damage than Widowmakers as well. So that's pretty neat. Um, and let's let's go back to um, uh, how she snipes, like how she fires. I time. have you in my sights. That m blast kind of reminds me of the um. Oh my gosh, what's that sniper called from? Uh, Halo, the Promethean Sniper. Um, in Halo 5, it kind of like... I mean, it's... It's kind of like a beam that lasts for like... One second flat, kind of like this. And just... Sticks to the opponent until... Yeah, that is really overpowered right there. Like... It usually would take multiple shots. I mean, it's... Probably because it's a headshot, but it looks like it would do way more damage than what Widowmaker or even Hanzo would do. So it's it lights out. Is not. Uh that is neat. So I am probably going to very well enjoy um Anna when she comes out, and I can see many others enjoying her too. I mean. People are already playing her because it's already um, out for some people. Like, mm. but when it's official, 
actually released to the game for everyone to play as, then, ooh, gosh, um, that is going to be tons and tons of chaos, tons of raging people, um, woo, boy, I mean, she probably looks OP because, I don't know, these are CPUs they are fighting, but still, this is going to be epic. Uh, oh yeah, and, and the voice lines. You know how uh, sometimes Soldier76 says to Farah, your mother would be proud, and then Farah says, you... Uh, didn't know my mother very well then. Um, yeah, they're going to have to update some voice lines too because it's like she's probably she's still alive here. So this is pretty awesome. I will say that, and I'm very hyped for this. And I know I'm not the only one out there. All right. That being said, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to leave a comment down below, leave a like, and why not subscribe? That would really help me out a lot. And as usual, see you in the next episode of Enemy Gamer 2.0. Bye. And good night.